expect that uh, our lesson will be on product of binomials. So I'm going to explain these terms first. I'm going to use this example to explain the terms. The word product means multiply. So when you have brackets like that, you see between them there's no sign, there's no plus or minus. So it means we are multiplying this bracket with that bracket. A binomial, it's two terms. How do you find a term? Every time you have something and then you have a plus or a minus, then the next thing is another term. So in this bracket, we have two terms. When we get this bracket also, we have two terms. There's an X, then there's a minus. X is our first term, minus, and then the one is the second term. So the minus one is the second term. Now, when we're saying product, we are going to multiply binomials. This is the binomial. Two terms is the binomial. This is another binomial. Right. Before we do that, before we multiply the binomials, I want me to remind you um, how you multiply the difference between multiplying and adding. When you are multiplying, when you have a variable and another variable, x times x, when we are multiplying, law one of exponent says if the bases are the same and you are multiplying, you add the exponents. So you have an exponent of one here and an exponent of one. In maths, we have too much work, so we don't write things that we all know. So we all know that if a, 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 any number or a variable, if it doesn't have a power or an exponent, it's a 1. So for this one, you have a 1 and a 1. You keep the same base and you have it. Then you write a 2. 1 plus 1 is 2, low 1 of exponent. Now, when you are adding, you are not using exponent. When you remember in grade 8 and 9, you were taught that the laws of exponent, you use them when you are multiplying and dividing. So when you are adding, you are not using that. So don't do the same thing for multiplying and addition. So here you have a x also. There's no 1 here. We know there's a 1, but we have too much work. So in maths, we don't write that 1. We all know there's a 1 there. It's 1x. One there's no need of writing 1 because it's x. If it's x, it means it's 1. So it's 1x one here and 1x there. So I'm adding the variables. I'm adding the 1 plus 1. Then I have 2x because they are common variables. They are the same. Then I add them. Then I get 2x. Please, when you're doing these things, make sure that when you multiply, you follow the rules for multiplying. When you're adding, you follow the rules for adding. Now we start with our lesson, product of binomials. There are three steps that you must follow when you multiply or when you're finding the products of, of binomials. The first step, you're going to find the sign. You want to multiply. Multiply the sign. Multiply the sign first. Then you multiply the number, then you multiply the variables. We're going to do this very slow and follow this, these three steps for an example. Then you can see how you do it. Let's look at an example. We're going to have example one, and I'm going to write example two for you. You try it, and then you, you check after. Let's look at example one. Right. In example one, you have x multiplied by x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3. So what you do? You start with the first term. You multiply the first term in the first binomial with the first term in the second binomial. Now let's follow the rules. Number one, you multiply the sign. When there's no sign, it's a positive. So it's a positive multiplied by a positive. If it's the first thing, you don't have to write the positive. We all know if there's nothing there, it's a positive. Then our rule says multiply numbers. You remember we said there's a one there, so it's one times 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So you also don't have to write the 1. And then, then it's x. x times x. The bases are the same. So you're going to have 1 plus 1. You're going to have x squared. Then we're done with the first one. You, you multiply the first term to the second term in the second binomial. So you might multiply that and that. The rule again, the sign first. Positive times negative. Negative. Then the numbers. 1 times 1. 1. Then the variables. You have x. You don't have another variable there. So x, you're going to write the x that's a variable. You don't have to write the 1. But if you've written it, there's nothing wrong with that. Then we are, we are, we are done with the first part. You multiply the first term, you, the first term with the two terms that are in the second binomial. When we are done with that, then go to the second term. We're going to multiply that and that. Start with the sign. Positive times positive, positive. 
when we are multiplying signs, when signs are the same, they are positive. When they are not the same, they are negative. So that is not hard. Done with this sign. Numbers 3 times 1. It's a 3. Then the variables. I only have x. Then I go to the next one. Positive times negative. They are not the same. It's going to be negative. Then numbers. 3 times 1. It's 3. Then you are done. Then we go to the next step. Because you are having an expression. An expression is when you don't have equals to something. When it's equals to something is an equation. But what we are having now is an expression. When we are solving an expression, you want to write equal at the beginning of the expression. When you are writing an equation, you will have an equal sign somewhere in the equation. You don't have to write the, the equals at the beginning of the that, that sum. Okay. Now, when you look here, you are looking at the like terms. X squared, I don't have any other term that have an X squared. So it means X is unlike terms to the other one. It's not like them. So I'm going to write it. I cannot add or subtract it to anyone. But when you look at these two terms, the minus 1x and the plus 3x, they are common terms. You have an x there and an x there. So you're going to add them. Minus 1x plus 3x. Please take a calculator and do this because most of the time you get it wrong. So you're going to have a plus 2x. Because the signs are not the different, are not the same, you're gonna subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. So you're gonna subtract minus one from three, and then the sign of the bigger number, the three is bigger, then you get the three. But please use your calculator. And then the last term is the only one with a three. Then you are done. When you look at this this um, expression here, you have nothing that is common. You can't add anything, you can't subtract anything because you have x squared, then you have an x. And then you have a variable that you have a number that doesn't have a variable so you cannot add any of this it's done here this is called a trinomial try because of three one two three terms it's done you stop there right i'm going to give you example two for example two i want you to pause the video do example two and then after that you look at how example two was done don't 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 look at it now you pause the video you do example two and then after you check where you went wrong or you went right you cannot assume that you're gonna make it wrong you are gonna make it right you are smart most right let's do example two we're gonna start with the sign positive times positive we're gonna get positive 2 times 1, you're going to get 2. And then x times x, you're going to get x squared. Then that was that. Then you go to that. Positive times positive, positive. 2 times 3, 6. x times y is xy. Right. Now you're going to go to that. Negative times positive, not the same negative. 2 times 1, 2, y times x, x, y. Negative times positive, negative. 2 times 3, 6, y times y, y squared. Then you look at the like terms. Nothing has an x squared there. So I'm going to write the 2 x squared. Then here I have the like terms. The signs are not the same. I'm going to subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. If you can't, please use a calculator. Plus 4xy minus 6y squared. Then we are done. Thank you for watching. Please practice this. This is the basic of your maths. If you're getting this correct, you're going to get the rest of the maths correct. Thank you for watching.